what is good everybody it's your boy ace back with another props video yesterday bro we got hold on this one prop i'm about to tell y'all what happened that shit was crazy but i started posting more like non-alt lines on uh sports books because i usually do a ton of like alt lines or like hella juiced lines like 0.5 hits uh because i like to just like put them in like three mans and then take double ups and kind of just like build up small profit from there because baseball is my off-season prop I i'm NBA, NFL, and Rocket League prop main mainly, and then baseball is just like the off-season sport I do. So I just kind of like to build those, like you know, small little builder slips, little bankroll builders, and then get those little double ups, and then profit up in, for the summer. Uh, but I started experimenting with the non-alt lines because I basically asked the Discord. I was like, you guys want me to just test out doing non-alt lines, so starting to post more of those i did this one basset under five and a half hits allowed for minus 145 on dk this one cashed bro i went i woke up <clears throat> i checked this the uh the score he had like five hits allowed through 47 pitches bro i was like i was so pissed because the rays are dog shit you could see in the write-up if you wanted to read the write-up real quick and see what it was jesus christ that's loud uh basically the rays had like the second lowest batting average against right-handed pitchers in july and then he gave up like five hits in his in his first 47 pitches and then i was like uh fuck this so i want to go take a nap i went back to bed i woke up and i saw that he finished the game and he was still at five hits allowed bro i was like holy shit he went like 50 pitches in a row without allowing a hit or something i was really shocked but <clears throat> uh yeah that cash so that was good um yeah and then some other props that I had, Seeker Cash, O'Hearn sold, Gunner Henderson hit. And then also another non um alt line that I had was Burns to record a win. Um this was the one that I was talking about now. This is, might be the worst beat of the season, bro. This dude, Corbin Burns, he 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 went off. He went he pitched for 7.1 innings. He only gave up three runs, and like two of those runs were in his last inning. Uh, but he literally did his job. The Orioles did did their job. You could pause the video to see the write-up. But basically, the Orioles were facing a, a pitcher that was garbage against left-handed pitchers. So I was expecting a ton of runs uh, from the... Or sorry. Uh, they were facing a pitcher that was garbage against left-handed batters. So I was expecting a ton of runs from left-handed batters. And that's exactly what happened. We had Kowser, left-handed bat. He hit a three-run homer on him. Um, Santander, left-handed bat. He hit a homer on him. This guy's not a left-handed bat, but... Yeah, they scored four runs off left-handed bats. So I was like, right up was literally going to perfection. Burns leaves the game with a six to three lead. I was like, oh yeah, this is this is an easy cash. Um, he leaves the game six to three lead, and then this motherfucker, bro, <laughs> Craig Kimbrell, the worst fucking closer in the league. He comes in the game, and Gunnar Henderson also had a stupid ass error, bro. You could look that one up on on like Twitter or YouTube, bro. That error was so dumb. But I, Craig Kimbrell comes in the game and he he allows three runs and just chalks the win prop. And then the worst part was that they won in the 10th inning. So it's like they didn't even need to do that. It was just like salt to the wound, bro. Uh, Burns should have had that prop, but it is what it is with betting. You know, you get lucky sometimes and then you get bad luck sometimes. It happens. But uh, I love that write-up. I love that read, but it just, just didn't happen. It is what it is. Looked really good though. Also, we hit a ton of leans though. That was super good. We hit a ton of leans. Shirts are over five and a half Ks. I think that was like minus 130 or something when I posted it. Uh, so that hit. And then we also cashed this prize picks. Lean sees over six and a half strikeouts. I think he finished with like nine. He had a no hitter, which was crazy. Uh, yeah, he had nine strikeouts. So yeah, uh, the reads were, were pretty good. So five and one in our last six prize picks props. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Just need to hit these alt lines better. It's crazy like i'm hitting these regular non-juice lines better than the alt lines it's just really stupid but there's been in a weird slump since the all-star break but um not not tripping at all it is what it is i got three hit point five hits props for you guys though today hopefully uh we get do better on these little alt slash point five hits props because these are the ones that have been like kind of fucking us over um we've been hitting the prize picks we've been hitting the non-juice lines i just need to hit the alt lines better but I believe i believe the first one's gonna be trey turner over 0.5 hits for 0.75 units so this is a you guys if you guys watch the channel you guys know exactly uh trey turner bro we take him a ton he's just amazing so don't need to really 
big write-up for this one but he's catched this line in his last 32 out of 37 games against right-handed pitchers he's also batting 349 against right-handed pitchers this season so obviously we already know how good Trey Turner is how good of a batter he is against these right-handed pitchers and he's facing another right-handed pitcher today so a uh, pretty good matchup there he's facing Ben Lively who's allowing a 282 batting average against right-handed batters on the road which is his worst split of all so very very good this is a road game for him they're playing at the phillies park so 282 batting average against righties on the road and that's very good for trey turner who's already batting 350 which is crazy against right-handed pitchers so that's already good also trey turner is batting 351 against lively's three favorite pitches so his favorite pitches are sinker his fastball and his sweeper against right-handed batters i don't know why outlier always fucks up sweeper they say slider but it's a sweeper um if I go ahead and look up his MLB Savant page and I show you his pitch arsenal, it is a sweeper. <clears throat> sweeper. I don't know why it, Outlier always says slider, but it's not a slider. Uh, but yeah, his three favorite pitches against right-handed batters are his sinker, his four-seamer, and his sweeper. And Turner's batting a combined 351 against those three pitches. So very good batting numbers, very good hit rate, obviously, on the year because Trey Turner's just been amazing. Uh, facing a pitcher who's allowing a 282 batting average versus right-handed batters on the road and then turner's batting 351 against his three favorite pitches so just a recipe for success basic uh don't really need to overthink it too much um yeah turnover 0.5 hits our second 0.5 hits prop is going to be somebody who's been electric against left-handed pitchers it's going to be helio ramos over 0.5 hits so there's no 0.5 hits option for him on outlier but this this prop is on sleeper chalkboard anywhere you you do your 0.5 hits props it's going to be there um but yeah so the, the games where he had one hit you just got to remember that that's a cash we're taking over 0.5 hits he has a four game hit streak against left-handed pitchers he's batting 407 against left-handed pitchers this season so absolutely insane batting numbers crazy he also uh bats better against left-handed pitchers at home Every single game at home that he's faced a left-handed pitcher that he gets a hit, he gets two hits, which is kind of crazy, um, as you can see here. So really, really good numbers against left-handed pitchers, especially at home. He's facing Kyle Freeland, who's allowing a 384 batting average against right-handed batters on the road, uh, which is insane. Yes, you heard that correctly. 384 against right-handed batters on the road. So very, very good matchup for Helio Ramos here um, against left-handed pitcher. And then he's facing a lefty that's allowing a 384 against righties on the road. So absolutely insane. That's Freeland's worst split. So very good matchup for Ramos. Also, Ramos just faced Freeland six days ago and had a hit against him in three at-bats. So uh, remember, the more the, the more times a batter faces a pitcher during the season, the better that they get used to them and the more of a chance they have of getting a hit. So that's very, very good that he fa not only faced him this season, but also faced him literally just a week ago and already had success in him in the first uh, time facing him. So he, he he knows his stuff for this for this second game against him, which is very good. He's also batting a combined 298 against Freeland's two favorite pitches. So decent. Uh, not the best batting numbers against those pitches, but decent enough for us to take them for 0.5 units with that hit rate and that batting average and the matchup, how good it is. So Ramos over 0.5 hits. And then our last prop for the YouTube, I have more props in the Discord, uh, several more props right now. Probably we'll have more, even more. I'm not done researching yet, but I just had to get this video out. It's going to be Gunnar Henderson over 0.5 hits as well. He does not have a 0.5 hits option on Outlier, but... Let's go ahead and check sleeper chalkboard parlay play he has he has it there so <clears throat> he just had a rough series against the marlins he went hitless in two games uh we took him yesterday and he got a lucky hit in the ninth inning um hopefully hopefully he's gonna use that as a confidence boost because he's been really really bad uh out out of the coming out of the all-star break he's been pretty bad but he did get that hit in the ninth inning to cash us so uh happy about that but you know he, we when we take a pitcher or when we take a batter it's be, it's because of the starting pitcher that they're facing so um uh, he did not do well against the starting pitcher he went like 0 for 3 against him but he got a hit against the closer but yeah he just needs to be better he just hasn't really been that well but i'm expecting a bounce back for him hopefully that hit in the ninth inning is a little bit of a confidence booster for him coming into this game and he gets a great matchup here hopefully he can turn things around with this really good matchup so he's batting 302 against right-handed pitchers this season in general he's just been really poor since the all-star break but 
as you can see he went three games in a row coming out of the all-star break without a hit against right-handed pitchers which he has not done in any single three game stint all season beforehand so he was just in his worst slump against right-handed pitchers the whole season hopefully that hit breaks him out of it he's facing Mazur was allowing a 343 batting average against left-handed batters which is absolutely insane 343 batting average against left-handed batters so really really good matchup here for Gunnar Henderson Gunnar Henderson's also batting a combined 324 against Mazur's three favorite pitches um, especially well against his slider which he's batting 327 against the slider with 788 slugging and then the curveball he's batting 400 against the curveball with 920 slugging so hopefully if, if he gets a hit it'll probably be off that curveball or the slider so um, really good matchup for Gunnar Henderson he's been in a little bit of a slump but hopefully he can break out of it he's been really good the whole season really good matchup and then really good against his pitch arsenal so that's always usually a recipe for success he also bats lead off too so there's really high potential as you can see here for five plate appearances which is a fuck ton um like you would if you get five plate appearances you only need to hit 200 batting average to get one hit so um really really high possibility he gets five plate appearances because missouri is really bad against left-handed batters and the orioles have like five so really solid left-handed batters and then also he walks left-handed batters at a really high rate so he could probably get himself in some trouble allow a lot of base runners and then uh more plate appearances for the orioles gunners batting lead off so he could probably get five plate appearances hopefully uh yeah so those are the three props for the youtube it's going to be turner over 0.5 hits for 0.75 units ramos over 0.5 hits for 0.5 units anderson over 0.5 hits for 0.5 units if you guys want every single play that i post make sure you guys join the discord link in the discord will be in the description of this video usually 25 dollars a month for all my props but your first month will be 10 dollars off only 15 dollars a month for your first month so take advantage of that cop your membership get in the discord it's active in here uh that's only 50 cents a day for your first month 15 dollars a month only 50 cents a day absolutely insane take advantage of that uh yeah hopefully hopefully we get a better day on these alt lines um Looking to continue that streak with the uh, non-juice lines. I already have some in the Discord posted because we've been hitting really well on those. Just need to get better on these alt lines. So, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. If you guys are tanning, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Peace.